guys, welcome back. So, let us analyze electrical networks. Ano po ba kapag sinabi natin electrical networks? Electrical networks is simply defined as interconnection of circuits. Okay? So, kasi ito, nilagyan ko ng number, 879-10, isang loop yun, isang circuit yun. Pwede sabihin ko na si point one isang loop din yun, isang circuit din yun. So, in a network, there are several circuits. Okay? So, interconnection of circuits, network po yung tawag. And a network has certain parts. Those are the branch, node, loop, and mesh. When we say branch, that is a part of a circuit wherein an individual current is flowing. The part of the circuit wherein the individual or there is an individual current flowing. For example, mula point 0.7 hanggang point 0.8, iisa lang po yung current na dumadaan dito. So, I should say that this is a branch, point 0.7 to point 0.8, while point 0.7, 7, 9, 10, 8 isang loop, I'm sorry, isang branch din po yun, dahil ang nadaan lang dong current ay si 4 amperes. Similarly, mula point 2 hanggang point 3, isang branch lang din yun, branch lang din yun, kasi unang-una, iisang current lang din po yung dumadaan dun. So, that is the very basic idea about a branch. How about node? Pag naman po sinabi nating node, node is the interconnection of branches or the point where branches meet. For example, guys, di ba, isang branch to, isang branch din ito, at ito ay isang branch din. San sila commonly nagtatagpo? Di ba, dito sa point na to, sa point 7. So, si point 7 pala ay isang node. Similarly, Si point 3 ay isa ding node. Same with point 4 and point 8. Kasi doon nagtatagpo yung mga branches. Okay? Next thing, paano naman kapag sinabi nating loop? Kapag sinabi nating loop, um, loop is defined as any closed path. Again, any closed path. For example, point 1, 2, 3, 4, balik sa 1. Diba isang loop lang po yun? Okay. For example naman, point 1, 2, 7, 8, 1. Itong dalawang to, diba isang loop lang din yun? And kung gusto kong gawin, point 1, 2, 9, 10, balik sa 1, itong buong to, isang loop lang din po. Basta ma-close ko, loop na yung tawag doon. While, kapag sinabi nating mesh guys, that is also a loop but doesn't contain any loops. So, isa lang yung mesh. Kasi tingnan nyo to, point 1, 2, 9, 10, balik sa 1, ilang loops yung posible? Isang loop, isang loop, isang loop. Individual loops, tama ba? Okay? So, hindi mo siya matatawag na mesh. Matatawag mo lang siyang mesh kapag walang loop within it. For example, point 4, 3, 7, 8, balik sa 4. May iba ka pa bang loop bukod sa loop na to? Wala na po. Eh, how about point 3, 5, 6, 7? Ito. Wala na din. Ito na lang yung loop kung meron. While, kung meron kang 4, 5, 6, 8, ito, hindi mo siya matatawag na mesh. Rather, ang tawag doon loop. Kasi, inside that loop, meron ka pang loop na isa dito at isa pang loop dito. Again, loop any closed path. While mesh is a loop without any loops in it. Okay? So, those are the parts of a network. So, as of now, please copy.
So hello guys, let me solve a series parallel circuit. Series tapos may parallel connection tayo. Ang tip dito, para masolve mo, magsimula ka sa pinakadulo papuntang supply. Okay? So we were asked to find the voltage drop and current at each resistor. Okay? So sabi ko sa inyo, magsimula sa pinakadulo papuntang supply. Yung observe natin, Si R4 at si R5 na 8 ohms at 10 ohms, they are connected in parallel. Okay? So, kuhain ko yung equivalent parallel connection nila. And, i-redraw ko yung circuit. So, may 20 volt supply. May resistor ako dito 8 ohms. Tapos, ito yung combination ni R4 and R5. Sabihin kong siya si R45. So, R45 is the parallel connection of R4 and R5. So, 1 over R4 plus 1 over R5 inverse. So, that is equal to 1 over 8 ohms plus 1 over 10 ohms inverse. So, R45 is equal to 40 over 9 ohms. Okay? So, this is equal to 40 over 9 ohms. As you can see, nung napag-parallel ko sila, ano naging effect ng K5 ohms? Naging in series si R45 kay 5 ohms. Tama? So, bilugan ko ulit. So, series naman yung connection natin. Okay? So, sabihin, di ba si R3 yan? So, kuhain ko si R345. Si R345 ay R3 plus R45. So, that is 5 ohms plus R45. Which is 40 over 9 ohms. So, 5 plus 40 over 9 we have 85 over 9 ohms. Okay? And then, i-redraw ko ulit yung circuit. Okay? Alam ko medyo matrabaho kasi one by one kong ginagawa. Kasi kung ako lang, isang diretso ko na lang yan. Pero, for you to show, uh, for you to learn more, ni sa isa ko. Okay? Tingnan nyo guys. R2 and R345, they are in parallel connection. So, kuhain ko yung equivalent resistance nila. So, let's say R2345 yan. So, this is equal to 1 over R2, which is 3 ohms plus 1 over R345 which is 85 over 9 ohms inverse and that will be equal to 255 over 112 ohms okay so kapag ginawa ko yun napagsama ko na yun Anong napansin niyo sa dalawang resistor? Kay 8 ohms sa kay R2345. They are now in series. Tama? So, I can say that R total, R total na yung makukuha natin, yes po, is just equal to R1 plus R2345. So, that is equal to 8 plus 255 over 112.
that is approximately equal to 10.28 ohms. Okay, so meron na po tayong R total. Okay? So for the meantime, please copy muna and rewrite ko. Okay? So please copy. Okay, so let's continue solving. So, ito yung ginawa nating simplification kanina. Mula dito, napaliit natin hanggang dito. May nakuha nga tayong R total eh, which is 8 plus 255 divided by 112, which is 10.28 ohms. Okay, so mula dito guys, makukuha ko na agad yung voltage drop kay 8 ohms. Bakit? Kasi series yung connection nila, di ba? At dalawang resistor lang to. So, pwede kong gamitin ang voltage division theorem. So, to get the voltage drop at resistor 1, so V1, that is 20 volts, times R1, which is 8 ohms, over 8 ohms, plus 255 over 112. So, that is equal to 15.57 volts. Okay? So, 15.57 volts na agad ng 20 volts yung nakain ng 8 ohms. So, kung gusto kong kuhain yung V2345, that is equal to 20 volts over 225 or 255, sorry, over 112 all divided by 8 ohms plus 255 over 112 ohms. So, that is equal to 4.43 volts. Tingnan nyo, 15.57 plus, plus 4.43 equal lang po yun sa 20 volts. Okay, so tapos na tayo dito sa part na to. I-expand ko na ulit si R2345. Gawin ko na siyang R2 tsaka R345. Okay? So, yung nakuha natin voltage na 2345, yun yung voltage dito ngayon. So, yun yung voltage kay R2 at yun yung voltage kay R345. So, I can say that V2 is equal to V2345 is equal to 4.43 volts. Okay? Eh, how about yung voltage kay 345? Yung voltage po kay 345 ay equal pa din sa voltage 2345 which is 4.43 volts. Okay? Then, i-expand ko ulit to. Diba, ito yun. Diba, paurong ngayon yung ginagawa natin. Diba, sa R345 ay series connection ni R3 tsaka ni R45. Again, may dalawa akong resistor na maghahati sa iisang voltage. Gamitin ko si voltage division theorem. So, ang magiging total voltage ko ngayon ay itong 4.43 volts. So, to get the voltage at R3, V3, so that is 4.43 times R3, which is 5 ohms. over 5 ohms plus 40 over 9 ohms. Diba? Ito na. So, that is equal to 2.35 volts. Okay? So, 2.35 volts na yung na-drop kay R3. Eh, ilan na lang yung natitira kay V45. So, that's 4.43 times 40 over 9 ohms all over 5 ohms plus 40 over 9. So, that is 2.08 volts. Okay? Di ba ga, si R45 ay parallel connection lang ni 8 ohms saka ni 10 ohms. 
So, kung ano yung voltage kay R45, ay siya na din voltage kay R4 at kay R5. Since, parallel connection lang naman po sila. Okay? So, V4 is equal to 8 ohms. And V5, I'm sorry, V4 is equal to 2.08 ohms. Volts, sorry. And V5 is also 2.08 volts. If you want to get the current at each resistor, just use the ohms law, which is V over R. If you want to get I5, that should be V5 over R5. So, it is, in very, it is very important to redraw the circuit para alam mo yung series or steps ng pagsosolve mo. Kasi pagdating sa voltage, paurong naman yung gagawin natin. Pabalik naman. Okay? So, okay na lang yung bala sa current. Okay, guys? So, I hope malaki yung tulong. So, just comment down kung meron kayong question sa at kung meron kayong video tutorial request. Okay? So, bye-bye. Please copy.